Hi, Revolutionary Brewer here. Uh, just doing a little reply to uh, Craig, Craig Tube's video with regards to can you make good beer from a canned kit and uh, kind of to address a few of the issues, but also I'm going to give a little recipe that I have that shows you really can make really good beer from a canned kit. I know some of the... Um, as Craig Tube liked to call them, uh, uppity uppity brewers claim that you can only make really good uh, beer from the all grain method, but really there's a whole lot of different ways to brew beer and there's a whole lot of different ways to uh, come out with good results. So first of all, just want to make a couple comments about uh, brewing in general. There's a whole bunch of different ways to brew beer and it all depends on what the person's time constraints are and what they're interested in actually doing. For me, I started brewing canned kits in 2007, so three years ago. I've never moved beyond canned kits, never had a reason to. Canned kits always turned out really good. You can make a whole lot of different styles. It's easy. I mean, I work 40 hours a week. I do a lot of fishing. I don't have a whole lot of time to devote to brewing, but this uh, canned kit makes it really easy. Uh, secondly, just want to clear up the myth. There's a lot of people out there that say, well, you can't really make great beer from the canned kits. You can make fabulous beer from the canned kits. I've been drinking it now for uh, three years, and uh, you can make some really great beer from canned kits. You can do a whole lot with the canned kits, too. You can add some specialty grains to it. Uh, you can get as complicated as you want. You can add some extra hops to it, or you can just go with the basic canned kit and a bag of sugar will still make good beer. So here's a real uh, simple recipe I have. Uh, this is nice for the summer. You know, we're in the dead of August right now, and this provides a really thirst-quenching, refreshing, light-tasting beer, and it's really great, and it's really easy to make. First thing what you want to do is you want to start out with one of these, just a can of Cooper's, uh, Cooper's Australian Draft. You get it at any home brew store. This can cost me, I think it was 17 bucks. so... There's your first ingredient. And the only thing for the summer that I really add to my draft is this. It's uh, high malt glucose. Uh, basically, all it is, it's uh, kind of syrupy. It's like syrupy sugar. And uh, what you do is I take this and I dump it into a big pot of water that's hot, heat it up on the oven, and just mix it all around so it's uh, mixed in really good. Get it all out of the container. And uh, what I do is I heat it up till it's almost to a boil. Don't really need to boil this stuff, but just in case there's anything in it. It's pre-packaged just in case any bacteria or anything got in there. Just heat it up enough to kill any bacteria. Then I dump it into my brewer's bucket. I add the Coopers. Uh, go ahead and uh, rinse the insides out with hot water. Make sure you get all this stuff out. It's good stuff. And uh, just mix them up in a bucket, throw the yeast on top, and put the top on. You're good for a week. Uh, now, the second part that I do for this beer, because it's a nice light beer, so I like to let it clear for a week or two, usually a couple weeks in uh, one of these here. I got a big glass, uh, big glass jug, basically, with an airlock on it, carboy. If you don't have one of those, no big deal, but I like to put it in there for a couple of weeks. It helps all the tastes blend together. Also, it uh, helps it really clear out so that you have a really clear beer once it's all completed. And uh, that's all there is to it. And this is going to be a terrific beer for the summer. It reminds me of something like uh, maybe a Miller Genuine Draft or something like that. If you like that style on a hot summer day, it's terrific. So I have a bottle here to actually show you what it turns out like. Uh, brewed this one inside a Corona bottle so you can kind of see through it. It's uh, not as light as uh, some of the light American beers that you would have. For instance, uh, the uh, Miller Genuine Draft, like I mentioned, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more flavorful. The the Cooper's kits have, uh, the draft kits have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hop bite to it. So it adds a little bit of bite to your beer. But here, I'm going to open it up and we'll see what it tastes like. 
So this is a great beer for the summer. When I'm making my light uh, draft in the winter, I make it a little bit different. I add half sugar and half malt extract. Makes it a little bit of more of a full-bodied beer. And uh, But as you can see, this one is pouring very nicely, very clear. Not a big head on it, just lightly carbonated. Not a bad head, but just lightly carbonated, really refreshing. Let's try this out. Amazing beer on a hot summer day. Can kit costs about 17 bucks, sugar costs four bucks, total costs $21. That'll make you about 60 bottles of beer uh, in Canada for. I know right now, uh, 24 case of beer, you're looking at like 41 $42. And I mean, I'm a guy that likes to drink a lot of beer, really enjoy my beer. I can't afford to pay 41 $42 every time I want a 24 beer. You can make 60 bottles of beer for about 25 bucks when you include the price of little things like sanitizers, caps. But the point is, with this, if you're just getting started brewing, uh, what you're going to want to do is... You can start out with the canned kits, nothing wrong with that at all. If you decide that's maybe too simple for you, you want to, you have the time to brew a little bit more complex, then you can move up to all grain. Uh, the point is, it's all up to the brewer. Just because you're brewing from a can, it doesn't mean the quality of beer isn't great. Look at this beer, top quality beer. And uh, like I said, this style, it's great on a hot summer day. I brew a whole bunch of different styles. You can brew stout. You can brew, uh, I got some Belgian ale going there. Uh, you can brew reds. You can brew uh, dark ales. Brew lager. So many different styles. And uh, it's a really inexpensive way for all you Canadians out there that want to get involved in the hobby. Inexpensive way to make great, good quality beer. If you need a guide on how to make the beer, I'm going to put the link below to uh, Craig Tube's videos. He makes uh, superb instructional videos, walks you through every step of the way. Uh, anywhere from starting out sanitizing your equipment to actually brewing the beer. Uh, he shows you how to do everything. He goes through it nice and slow, explains everything in great detail. It's a great video to watch if you're starting out. It gives you a real uh, good insight to how easy it is to make beer, but also how good quality it turns out. This stuff is great, I'm telling you. you you've got to try it. If you're a big beer fan, you're shelling out 42 bucks for a 2.4, you know, give this a try. Even make a couple batches for the summer, you'll be happy you did. Anyways, uh, that's about it for now. Keep brewing. Cheers. We shall always sing And if it is done for us He filled us up with cheer Our Lord bless Charlie Moss The man who invented beer Beer, beer, tiddly beer, beer, beer The furious bar, the fancy pub The hole in the wall